Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Coming back to you with another Say the Chain informative video. I want y'all to hit that like, subscribe, notification bell so we can get this video out into the algorithm. So we look at the overall price action, y'all. We are at 2012. We have been fluctuating between 2012 and 2013. All right. So we are moving sideways. Okay. And that's a good thing. But even if things were moving a little bit downwards, that is what it is. Okay because fluctuation is normal and we kind of need that fluctuation, all right, to keep the corrections uh, coming and keep those uh, floors happening uh, in the crypto space, okay? You want that because remember, nothing stays up forever. All right, if we look at the overall market cap, market cap is down uh, 7%, but we are at 54,000. And y'all, uh, regardless of what individuals uh, say about the market cap, all right. Uh, the market cap is still a milestone considering where a lot of these other cryptos are that had come out uh, two to three years ago. All right. And then you compare that with uh, say the chain that has now been out for uh, going on three years now, which is at uh, 54 uh, million. That is actually uh, a good thing. It's actually a milestone because you have a lot of cryptos that have been out uh, uh, just as long, if not longer. All right, that has not reached that mark. So it is still a milestone. Okay, it's not the hundred million or two hundred million like we would like to see, but uh, a lot of that stuff will come in due time. All right, if the developers keep their foot on the gas, which I have confidence in my opinion, they will. All right, now we look at also the volume. The volume is up forty percent, and there we go. With that wild fluctuation again. All right, uh, last time I checked the volume, we was in the hundred fifties uh, again. All right. But now we are in the 200, uh, basically the 250s. So we have been fluctuating between 150 and 250. And like I said, y'all, when you see two of the main numbers, OK, which is the price action in the market cap in the red, all right, you're going to get something in the green like the volume. Now, whenever the volume is in the red, all right, and it is down at that 250K range, you want to see either the market cap or uh, the price action in the green. It's weird like that. All right. And so, um, you know, looking around the uh, just looking around the space, not much news going on. I know it was a big burn. All right. I know that the developers and I'm looking at a separate another screen here. I know that the, the, the developers, um, you know, uh, they touched on things like Seda card. I know that Seda card is having, uh, you know, an update like that. All right. And, you know, they touched on uh, using the SATA card, okay, uh, as far as, you know, with like everyday use, as far as with like traveling and all of that stuff. So uh, SATA card is just next level when it comes to the crypto space. Uh, really, the, uh, the SATA chain is the only uh, project really doing it big with the crypto card, all right? And so uh, this is just the beginning, all right? And what you have to understand is that uh, as crypto gets more adopted, okay, this will become uh, widespread, all right? You're going to be able to, uh, like they touched on, plan your vacations, okay, uh, with the SATA card, all right? You're planning vacations, use a crypto card, all right? That's going to become uh, a thing, all right? Uh, pay with crypto, uh, global ATM access. You know, they, they have the partnerships with the Visa and all of that, uh, the tap to, uh, to pay, all right? So that's just going to be uh, big time, all right, when it comes to, uh, the crypto space, all right? And like I said, this is a blueprint being built by uh, the SATA chain team, all right? This is a blueprint being built, and we're going to have those other developers come in in the future, all right? And they're going to use this blueprint to also build crypto the correct way, all right? And so uh, not only are they going to build it correct way, but they want to make it a safe space also. Uh, the thing that I'm interested in seeing when it comes to uh, newer developers coming in is can they stay up to snuff with the security? Now, we know that Say the Chain uh, does a lot and talks a lot about security. Now, can they stay up to snuff with the security is going to be the question, okay? Now, if other future developers can do that, that is going to make crypto a very great and safe space, okay? And we're going to get a lot of those um, uh, serious investors coming back in. Remember what I said? I came up in uh, I started investing in crypto in 2014. That was before the meme space. So you can just imagine the time I've seen in the era I've seen in crypto before the meme space. Uh, but like I said, I always like sharing the history. And uh, back when I first started, we had a lot of the serious investors. We had a lot of the doctors, lawyers, okay, uh, government workers, police officers, a lot of service workers pouring their money into crypto, which was uh, labeled as a fully blue collar 
uh, investing space back then. Uh, when the uh, when but when the meme space came along, crypto kind of turned into a joke. A lot of those blue collar, no nonsense, hard nose, no nonsense investors, they kind of poured their money back out and start putting it into things like stocks uh, and start putting it into things like gold and all that. So, um, you know, the crypto space lost a lot of great investors, but I am hoping, okay, with regulations and with uh, projects like Seta Chain uh, that is building crypto the correct way and setting up those blueprints, I'm hoping that uh, crypto uh, uh, gets rid of that uh, uh, that uh, that meme space uh, whole personality thing, that reputation thing, because meme space is crap. I don't care what anybody's saying. If you invest in the meme space, look, no disrespect to you, but the meme space is crap. It gave crypto a very bad name. And I'm able to say that with confidence because like I said, I came into crypto when the meme space did not exist. So I seen what that era looks like compared to this era. I seen how that era went down the toilet uh, after the meme space came out. So I seen the damage that the meme space did. So if you invest in meme space, okay, uh, fine. You know, no disrespect to you, but in my opinion, you know, it's trash. All right. And now I'm so glad that we're on the tail end of the meme space right now. I'm so glad we're on the tail end because we're getting rid of the meme space. Regulations is going to come through, sweep all of those crappy uh, projects uh, out under the rug. It's going to sweep it out of the space. And we're going to be left with a whole bunch of blue collar cryptos or a handful of blue collar cryptos that will stand the test of time, gives itself a chance to uh, survive in the crypto space. All right. Uh, and, th and that's what you're going to get. So uh, you're going to get a more, uh, 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 you know, you're going to get a more no nonsense uh, investing space when it comes to crypto. And for a lot of people to do like investing into like the meme space and, all, and trying to get all of the multiple zero projects. OK, you're either going to be in or you're going to be out. You're either going to settle for these blue collar cryptos and build your wealth that way or you're going to be out because a lot of individuals, I believe, are going to be out because once the meme space is fully done with, there is no more of the crappy projects to to uh, get into. I believe that uh, sadly, you're going to see a lot of investors leave the space, in my opinion. That's what I believe. Uh, not so much the uh, little the seasoned investors or the investors that have been here long enough to understand that, hey, uh, you know, I'm going to stay in this this space because it's the way of the future. All right. But I'm talking about maybe a lot of the newer investors that are coming in that are not properly educated, do not understand what they should know. All right. I believe that a lot of those individuals are going to be on their way out the door. All right. So a good thing that that, that um, the regulation is going to do is going to weed out all of the uh, investors that are not serious, that are not about building wealth. OK. And you're just going to be left with a lot of uh, uh, hard nose, no nonsense investors. So we're going to go back into uh, that serious space that we've had. And of course, we're going to get a lot more revenue coming back into that space. Not only are we going to get that revenue coming back into the space, but you're going to start getting those uh, blue collar investors that I was talking about uh, at first that we're uh, going to come back into that space. The doctors, the lawyers, OK, uh, uh, the government workers. OK, um, you know, all of that stuff. You're going to get those individuals coming back into uh, the crypto space. You're going to get that revenue coming back into the crypto space. Uh, you're going to get a lot of individuals who took their revenue out of crypto, uh, you know, after the meme space invaded crypto uh, and put it into the stocks. Now you're going to get them taking them out them stocks and putting it back in the crypto because that's the new wave. And I believe a lot of individuals are going to be buying up a lot of these financial based and service based cryptos because these are going to be the new platforms okay that the eight billion people in the world are uh are living on it they're surviving on okay so i believe uh once you see crypto becoming that safe space you're gonna and i believe the crypto is becoming a safe space okay you got cornerstones like say the chain all right and um it remains to be seen um, you know, what other uh, projects like this will come about because it will become a trend. You have no choice but to have this become a trend because not only that, y'all, um, I, I probably should have did a live with this because y'all know I can talk a lot. But um, not only that, when you get the developers coming in, uh, uh, any developers that come in because you have Capitol Hill that's going to crack down on security and scamming and all of that stuff, when you get developers coming in, uh, you are going to get uh, developers 
that uh, could face a lot of criminal charges if they attempt to build a scam project. OK, that's another good thing about the regulation. It's going to make crypto a safe space. Are they going to be a lot of fine and harsh penalties for individuals that come through trying to do that old crap again? All right. Uh, but, um, you know, crypto is going to become uh, a safe space. And that's what I'm looking forward to. OK, we need that new money coming in. We need those new blue collar, hard nose, no nonsense investors coming in like it was. Um, another thing that happened was uh, there was a, a, a YouTube uh, discussion and conversation live that was on the 21st of January, uh, which was uh, yesterday. All right. So if anybody want to see that, you can go back and uh, click on a link. I think it is a link. Uh, which is probably on the SATA uh, chain uh, 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 YouTube channel. Okay, y'all can go back and see that. I will be probably making another video touching on uh, some of the things that went on uh, in that live uh, also. And like I said, uh, they are gearing up for um, more burns in the future. They just had uh, a burn uh, that happened. They did post something 10 hours ago. So there it was a mega burn. All right. And um, for some reason, I don't know. You still got individuals asking about uh, the, another burn that they had. I think it was for say the realty. I just don't understand how people can stay in their feelings. They keep wanting the, the developers to, uh, you know, cater more to them, answer their question about. And the thing is this, I, I'm all for developers asking the questions about what's going on. But at the same time, if, if you are an, if you are an investor, OK, or are you a, a, if you are anyone that is going into comments, basically asking the, the developers to get into arguments with you when they have way more important stuff to do. I can understand if like if you're not getting your questions answered or nothing like that, because number one, if I was a developer and people were coming in to me in some kind of way uh, that I knew was going to lead to an argument and made me look silly on, uh, you know, on social media, whether it's Twitter or whatever it may be. I would just ignore you. I would not answer you. There's no, there's no point in answering your question when all you're trying to do is argue with someone and, and, and attempt to make someone look bad when all you're doing is just making yourself look bad in the comments. All right. So I think the developers are doing a good job staying away from a lot of those toxic individuals. And you might have some people that get pissed off at me, okay, and say, uh, a realm that's not right, they should answer us. No, they should answer some. They should not answer all of you because. Uh, some of you out there are all for drama. Some of you are toxic. Some of you just want the developers to come on and talk to you uh, so you can get into an argument and try to make someone look bad. All right. So, no, the ones that are about uh, toxicity and not about, uh, uh, you know, really a real discussion. OK, about crypto and trying to educate individuals. OK, um, you can. Uh, yeah, I don't think you should be responded to. All right. I think you should go into another uh toxic uh env crypto environment and and have the discussion there if, if you're a toxic person go where toxic people are okay but uh if you are a toxic person and you're trying to um you know toxify a positive space don't do that that's not a space for you okay and you, you can't get mad when someone does not answer you and does not uh uh and and does not participate in the crazy business all right so yeah, I want to make this video, uh, you know, uh, this project right here is uh, on the correct uh, page. All right. Uh, I hope that I was able to uh, give individuals some guidance out there. I hope that y'all enjoyed the, the com uh, content. But this was actually supposed to be a short video, but um, y'all know me. If, if I go on some kind of rant or I, I talk a little bit more than usual, then, you know, I've been educating y'all in some kind of way. So anyway, um, um, remember, every now will be history tomorrow. You either have patience in this crypto investing space or lose in the end. And the thing is, you don't want to be a loser because I want all of you beautiful people out there to be winners. This is my video, and I will catch all of you on the up and up. Howdy.